Hello and welcome to Today I Choose. I am so grateful that you're taking the time to join me here today. Today, you know, I think that a especially those of us that have um, spent our lives tangled up in trauma, for somebody to look at us and say, you are a creator, sounds ridiculous. It sounds absurd. And it's a thought that, that frustrated me to no end, right? Because on one level, I knew that I was this great magician, right? That I had powers, that I could see things, I could hear things, I could um, create things. And yet, if somebody said to me, you're a creator, when it came to my life, I could not relate to that at all until I stumbled upon um, one of my early favorite writers, Florence Scovel Shen, who coined, you know, the, the phrase that worry is our strongest prayer. Now think about that. Right? I grew up Christian, I grew up in a parochial school, and I grew up praying. And, and prayer consisted of complaining of all the things that I needed fixed and changed. And had very little to do with um, creation. Consciously. Right? But what we need to understand is that every word we speak, every word we think, every word we put in a text, every word, right, is building tomorrow. So what we need to understand is that um, Jesus' call for us to have vigilance over our mind is imperative. We cannot move forward using the same old words. We can't, right? We keep creating what we don't want over and over again because as we're talking to others, as we're interacting, right? Over and over again, we're saying the same old words. Every new experience we have falls into being described with the same old words. Now, that means you could be visited by an angel. And in your word box, in your word can, right, there's instant fear out of something outside of what you know in the 3D, outside of something. Right, that you had programming for, so you instantly make that angel a monster. Right? And because you felt it, because it maybe touched you suddenly, right? Suddenly it's after you. Right? Did you create that, uh, every piece of that? Did you call that angel in? Did you turn it into a monster? Yeah, you did. Right? If we're sitting and complaining about um, lack, where's the abundance going to come from? Right? If we're sitting and talking about all the things that are wrong, where are the rights going to come from? Right? We've got to flip that switch from problem to solution so that we can move through what is happening today with ease and grace. Right, and that can only happen if you're really and truly in the present, and you're going recognizing, okay, that's going on right there. Boom, straightest line through to solution. Right, we're not going to sit in that problem forever. Right, we're instantly, just like a math problem, looking for the solution instantaneously. That has us 
in the real time, right? That has us operating real time, right? Now that's not gonna happen tomorrow, but what it is, what is gonna happen is that you're gonna start measuring. Wow, like, look, look at what that problem was and look because of clarity and my instant turn towards solution, how quickly that was resolved, right? That's what you start measuring, right? You know, I mean, the way our world's operating right now, to think you're not gonna have, or, you know, I can say that, but truly, with any game, what, what do we, why would you play if you didn't have any sort of challenge, right? So they're gonna be there. Play the game, play it full out, and play it conscious, right? You, we need you. We need you awake. We need you untangled. And we need you conscious, right? We need your abilities conscious. Now, one thing that's super cool about the QT matrix system is that as you're untangling all that and unhitching your, your engine from the caboose of the past, Right? You're going to be very quickly getting a very clear picture of what you're capable of. Right? We have been turned around backwards, chasing normal. Normal is nothing but average or below. Why would you want that? In any other faction of your life, do we choose below average if we have a choice? No. So in your life, no, it's not acceptable. Let's live full out. Let's dream that dream and turn these words around, right? Hop on your 30-minute freedom call at sherrydoyan.com. And um, let's see. Let's see how quickly we can get you out of that. Have a great day.